China's multi-billion dollar 15,000-kilometer undersea cable has arrived in Kenya as Beijing pushes on with its digital Silk Road and Africa searches for the infrastructure it desperately needs for greater internet connectivity. The $425 million peace cable, which stands for Pakistan and East Africa connecting Europe, has Huawei as a shareholder. The piece is initially a 15,000-kilometers submarine cable from Pakistan to France, extended from Pakistan to Singapore for an additional 6,500 kilometers, with the main trunk landing in Singapore, Pakistan, Kenya, Egypt and France in branches to the Maldives, Malta and Cyprus. Announced back in September 2019, the new peace submarine cable has also landed on the shores of Marseille. It will connect Europe to Asia via East Africa. This network provides the most direct and high-capacity route from Asia and East Africa to Europe. These features, combined with exceptionally low latency, are vitally important for a wide array of commercial and consumer applications. Moreover, Peace deploys a state-of-the-art system within a system, configuration that gives each party the required flexibility to design its own subsystem with reconfigurable bandwidth for different points over the lifetime of the cable. The underwater cable arrived in Mombasa on Tuesday with Nugo Kibiti, chief executive officer of local partner company Telecom Kenya, claiming that the cable would help meet the sharp increase in demand for internet services on a continent where internet adoption has lagged behind the rest of the world, but which is home to a growing, young, and increasingly digital population. According to Kibiti, the ultra-high capacity cable will assist Kenya and the region in meeting its current and future broadband capacity requirements, bolster redundancy, minimize transit time of our country's connectivity to Asia and Europe, as well as assist carriers in providing affordable services to Kenyans. But however, as you know, in technology, not just in the cable side of things, uh, but across the, 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 the um, technological space, every year technology moves and improves significantly. So this piece cable is much faster, has a much higher capacity than the first five. It has a higher capacity than the first five combined. It uses much newer technology. And therefore that means that for all of us who are becoming more virtualized, because now our interactions, professional, social, are becoming more and more virtual, we need to have less expensive broadband, less expensive data and connectivity. That's what this cable does. This cable is $400 million. Sun Shua Yuar, the chief operating officer of Peace Cable, stated in a statement that the new infrastructure will bring greater commercial development to this region. The cable will eventually be extended from Kenya to South Africa along the continent's east coast. Submarine cables are thought to carry 95% of all international data, and China leads the way in Africa, with the most projects targeted at connecting the continent. Aside from the Peace Cable, China's proposed Two Africa Cable, when completed in 2024, will be one of the world's largest undersea projects. China's vast digital infrastructure expenditures in Africa and elsewhere have sparked controversy with the U.S. concerned that Beijing is aiming to dominate networks and may be using them for espionage. Some experts fear that authoritarian governments on the continent may abuse the technology, but Kobus Van Staten, a prominent China-Africa researcher at the South African Institute of International Affairs, believes that most Africans simply want better internet. The U.S. government issued a report uh, late last year, so as part of uh, the Trump administration, where it expressed security concerns over this cable specifically because it touches several significant landing points, including Gwadar uh, in Pakistan, where China owns a port, and Djibouti in uh, East Africa, where China has its only overseas military base. Cables are thought to pose risks for cybersecurity and intelligence gathering, uh, and this was also a concern raised by the U.S. government, for example. Um, they also pose risks uh, because of their dual use capability. Their underwater sensors can be used for scientific research and environmental monitoring on, in the oceans, but also can be used for surveillance purposes underwater. The peace cable will give China a very strong position for trading in tech-related services with countries it connects in the future as well. In an interview with Voice of America, Kobus Van Staden stated that the peace cable generally plays very positively in Africa. Obviously, the United States has raised concerns around this, particularly in relation to security, 
but he believes for a lot of African countries, the security issue is actually balanced by the wider issue of a lack of connectivity. According to Van Staten, although Huawei was sanctioned by the U.S. under previous President Donald Trump, it has developed almost 70% of Africa's 4G networks, and it appears that China is winning the war for digital soft power on the continent. He also added that there's a space there for competition in Africa, but Western companies will have to step up their game. Um, in this digital era, Africa's foremost priorities are to bridge the digital divide. According to the high TU, 29% of Africans, 18 to 24 year olds, mostly living in sub-Saharan Africa, does not have access to a high-speed broadband connection and are excluded from the emerging digital economy. So bridging the digital divide within and between villages, countries, and continents is very crucial. Achieving the goal of universe, universal access, participate, participating in global digital economy, catalyzing growth of small and medium enterprises in the digital space, as well as improving productivity and services in various sectors, including agriculture, finance, and also enhancing the provision of education, healthcare with the use of technology is a priority for many African countries. The Peace Project is privately owned and invested by Peace Cable International Network Limited, a subsidiary of China-based Hangton Group and supplied by HMN Tech, formerly Huawei Marine. The cable system is designed with the latest 200G transmission technology and WSS Rombi BU technology which provides the capability to transmit over 16 terabytes per second per fiber pair servicing growing regional capacity needs. The cable system substantially reduces network latency by adopting the shortest direct route connectivity, providing cost-effective capacity in an economically growing region and enhancing route diversity between Asia, Africa, and Europe. Despite recent improvements in internet access, Africa continues to lag behind other parts of the globe. The World Bank intends to assist Africa in achieving universal connection by 2030, but there are significant obstacles in the road. African leaders have made enormous achievements in making the Internet available to the continent's 1.4 billion people over the last decade, working with diverse local and international partners. However, the continent lags behind other world areas with only 22% Internet connectivity. Africa will require an investment totaling $100 billion to plug every citizen into the Internet by 2030, according to a World Bank estimate. According to a statement by Hafez Ganem, the World Bank's Vice President for Eastern and Southern Africa, no single actor will be able to meet Africa's 2030 target and carry the burden of a $100 billion investment funding requirement alone. All stakeholders must strive to ensure that every African has affordable and reliable access to the Internet. In October last year, U.S. tech giant Google announced its intentions to invest $1 billion in Africa over the next five years. The massive funds will ensure access to fast and affordable Internet and support startups to aid the continent's digital transformation. Nigeria, Kenya, Ghana, and Uganda will be the prime beneficiaries. If you enjoy this video, make sure to watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into the multi-billion undersea power cable which connects solar farms in Morocco with England. As always, give our video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting topics about trends and development in Africa.